most of urology is actually male uh, issues, so male issues with the bladder and kidney and prostate and whatnot. But the women were being underserved um, in terms of their bladder and, and pelvic health conditions. So that's where this uh, specialty came up, and, and I obviously found it interesting. So Reconstruction, I mean, it sounds, you know, like something crazy and, and fancy, and, and sometimes it has to be, but most often, you know, what we're doing is, is you know, women who've got bladder conditions, um, maybe they're born with something, maybe they develop something uh, as the course of, a, you know, childbirth happen. So their dro bladder's dropped, um, maybe their uterus is prolapsed, their rectum's pushed out. Um, it can create a situation of incontinence. So many of them need, you know, reconstructive surgery. Not everyone certainly doesn't, but many of them do. And so that's probably the reconstructive angles we do. I, I really do enjoy, you know, working with the patients, um, you know, getting to know them. There's patients who, who've got, you know, complicated issues. They're coming in from all over the world. And so you have to try to you know, understand what they've gone through. But I think when we've put ourselves in the patient's shoes and then we kind of get to reflect back, it's very valuable for us to get that. So with this way, I think we've really been able to break down some of the barriers because, again, it's, a, it's an embarrassing condition. Um, and, and really, unfortunately, that's the nature of my practice. It's all these sort of embarrassing conditions that no one wants to talk about. And so with that, I think we were able to tend to take those uh, embarrassing conditions, break them down, get them to you know, open up, maybe laugh a little bit, talk a little bit more about it, and then understand that they're not alone. And then from that point, really get down and, and see what they want to do and try to help them.